may now return to your regular programming. What's going on, guys? I'm Soy Hunter. It's another day. I'm um, headed into work. Not really sure where I'm going to hunt today. Uh, but I do have a $5 coupon. Um, a $5 off coupon for Hallmark. So I may go back and use it on that Iron Man if it's still there. Uh, which I believe it is. And... But after that, I don't know where I'm gonna where I'm gonna hunt. Um, I hope Sawgrass is open. There's still a ton of water there, so it may it may still be shut down. But you know, I just want that damn Tommy Chase, man. Um, but we'll see. If it's open, we'll go there. If not, then we'll figure something out and see where else we'll go. I don't know. Maybe hit some. I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll hit somewhere. <laughs> we'll find somewhere to hide. What's going on, guys? I'm on lunch. Looks like Sawgrass is open. So, uh, we're going to check out uh, Books A Million. See if the uh, Rugrats shipment have come in. That way, we can see if we can cop this Tommy Chase. And then, uh, we'll see where else we'll go. Probably check out that GameStop. I knew a couple of the uh, Firefly Pops were uh, on sale for five bucks there. So. You know, since I finally got Malcolm the other day, I can uh, finally come in and complete that set, so or start completing it. Especially if I can get it for a deal, so that's what we're going to do today. We'll check that out. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, yeah, it's closed. So the mall's open, but not a lot of the stores are open. Actually, none of the stores are open, <laughs> so, um, so I can't really get anything. And, you know, there's no lights on back there. And it doesn't look like they have any Rugrats in there either. So, well, we got the mission accomplished. We came to see if they had Rugrats. They don't. Oh, well. So, we'll head back out. Well, I'm on lunch now, so you'll see what I do later after this. Let's see ya. So, I wanted to see if they had the new wave, but they guys still got the old one. That's all they brought out. So, it's kind of tricky because... If you use BrickSeek, they have the same DPCI, so it's like tough to tell if it's the new stuff or if it's just the old stuff. So just kind of be mindful of that, guys. What's going on, guys? I am off of work. Finally, <laughs> um, I'm here at Hallmark, but before I go in, I actually uh, threw a package in my car from yesterday. I, uh, I It's probably like two videos back by now. I was mentioning that I made some trades for some grails that I've been wanting for ever so those finally came in they came in last night it was too dark and i was too tired so i was like i'll just save it for tomorrow because I, I wasn't sure how much i'd be able to hunt i'd be able to stop at a few places but you know figured why not throw it in a hunt video add something to it so i got them here in my car so before i walk into hallmark and use this uh five dollars off i'm gonna pop these open and let you guys see what i got all right so it's here i already pre-opened it so I wouldn't look like an idiot trying to get it open. Um, it is impeccably wrapped. Yes. Oh man. See that? Impeccably wrapped. Love the pink, by the way. Um, and so I want to give a shout out to my guy, and it's A Rogers twenty seven on Instagram, and I'll put his name on the screen somewhere. Probably be here. Um, and I want to give him a shout out because he was actually at. I believe it was the, I don't know what the official name of it was, but it was like a Phoenix, he's in Arizona, so it was like a Phoenix Comic Con of some sort, some kind of Phoenix convention, and he was there, and he reached out to me, and he was like, yo man, there's a uh, a certain pop here, <laughs> I, wanted to, I don't want to spoil it too early for you guys, uh, but there was, a, you know, there's like, there's a certain pop here, you know, are you interested in getting it? I know you've been wanting it, you know, um, and I'm like, and so he showed me a picture, and I was like, uh yeah i want that and so he was like you, you kind of can't resist popping these um and so he was like all right cool man i'll get it and then um and then we can work out a trade or whatever so i was like cool perfect and so he hit me back later that day and he was like all right so i'm looking for because this is a you know a pop that's kind of up there in price so he was like you know so i'm looking for for certain uh pops and i was like okay cool and and a couple of them obviously were you know around my area so 
and that he'd seen in my videos. So I was like, oh, this shouldn't be hard at all. So he sent me the picture of the four pops. I look at him, I'm like, cool, bang, bang, bang. So he needed a Taskmaster Walgreens exclusive. He needed a Bret Hart, um, and he needed a uh, Spirit Yoda, which is also a Walgreens exclusive. Oh, and he needed a Naruto Sage Mode, which is a GameStop exclusive. So I thought that would be the hardest one to get. So I ended up finding the Taskmaster, and I ended up finding the Bret Hart, because those two were everywhere, and at almost every Walgreens I went to, so that was easy. Um, and then I had a help from a friend who actually lives in North Carolina, so thank you, because she knows who she is. Um, and she went to her Walgreens and found the Spirit Yoda, and she went to a GameStop and found the, Naru the Sage Mode Naruto for me as well. So it took about probably, I'd say... Probably would say a week between me hunting, uh, between me hunting and working and getting ready for the move and everything, all that, trying to um, you know mix it in and trying to find these pops for him. So um, so I was able to get those pops for him, and we got that was the first one. So let me uh, let me unbox these and let you know what I got in return for those four pops, dude. You wrapped these amazingly. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, and you put them in cases too. <laughs> you guys are the best when you do that, man. Because obviously, you know, I'm an out of box collector, so I really don't care about the boxes. But I appreciate that you guys care about the boxes. So I appreciate it when you show it and you're like, I want to still keep it in the case. It's a nice soft case. So I, I really appreciate this. And oh my God, this fucking pop, man. <laughs> oh, this is, this is a, okay, as I mentioned before, these are grails, so this is what I've been waiting for, man. Oh, man. It was so, and it was like a nice little scavenger hunt, so I, so I had fun getting to, you know, collecting those pops for him, and uh, it was well worth it. Boy, was it worth it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys know that. You know what that is. You know how much I am in love with everything Lion King. And I want all the Lion King pops, uh, especially that Simba with the leaf mane that's coming out, and Rafiki holding uh, baby Simba, which looks is like the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, so for me to get a for me to get a scar, dude, are you kidding me? Oh man, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Oh, dude, this is let's uh let's pop this up. Let's pop this open. Get this bad boy out of here. Ah, right, come on. Oh, there we go. Soft cover is a little, a little difficult to open up. We got it. We got it open. There we go. Go. Let's give you guys another look at that. I can't wait to take pictures of this thing. Him and Simba next to each other, dude. Man, it's Scar, bro. It's Scar. Oh, dude. This is so amazing. This is so amazing, man. Wow. Freaking. I have a Scar. Yeah, that's right. Toy Hunter got a Scar. <laughs> oh, man. He just looks amazing. And obviously the scar across the eye. If you guys can see that there. The mane. The just the look he has on his face, just the kind of nonchalantness of I don't give a fuck. Oh man. This is great. This is so great. And I like that the tail's movable. <laughs> it's kind of just a soft. Oh dude. This is amazing. This I thought it would take forever for me to either one find this or either two I'd have to like you know get or pay flipper prices for it or something um, I've even tried my hand at a few auctions at it and ended up losing because the price just got way too high and I was like yeah I'm not gonna pay that much for it so but dude <laughs> I have a scar so now I have Simba and now I have scar so I gotta work on the rest 
Pumba, Timon, uh, Rafiki, which I know is like super fucking rare. Um, you know, it's along with the scar. So I don't know, man. I mean, somebody came in and helped me out with the, uh, with the scar. Maybe somebody can help me out with a Rafiki as well. So dude, <laughs> I just, I can't, I, when he made that offer to me, man, I couldn't pass it up. I could not. It's, it's fucking scar, man. It's scar. <laughs> Come on. Jeremy Irons. Come on, bro. Oh man. I, I hope he comes back for the, uh, for the live action movie too. So they gotta get they got um, James L. Jones coming back as Mufasa. They gotta get Jeremy Irons to come back as Scar. It's only right. It's only right. Wow. All right. So let's uh, let's get, let's get to this next one. So that so that was Scar. All right. So we got through that. This next one, man. I don't even know if you guys can even guess because you know there's just very there's like three things that I love in pops and that's I'll just even give you the hint now. It's Lion King pops. LeBron James pops and Game of Thrones pops. Okay? Alright. <laughs> That's your hint. Okay. Even though I'm gonna show you right now, so it doesn't even really matter. But it but okay. So uh alright, so yeah, so those uh quick story behind this. So so as I'm collecting the pops for the scar, he hits me back and he's like, yo, I haven't told anybody about this. But I got this certain character, and I'm like and I know how much you love Game of Thrones. And I'm like, oh my God, dude. Wh what? What do you need? What do you want? What are you asking for? So he, and I kind of had a feeling of what he's going to ask for too. And I'm like, watch he say it. Watch he says it. And so he's typing. And it comes through and it's like, only if you're willing to give up your Qui-Gon Jen. And I'm like, Oh no, my heart. Oh, why? Why do you test me? <laughs> uh, so, obviously, the trade went through, so I gave up the Qui Gon Jinn. Now, disclaimer I'm n I never got into pops for the value of them, right? I got into pops for honestly the emotional attachment to them and an emotional attachment to the certain characters of whatever medium they may come from whether it be comic books whether it be tv shows whether it be animated shows you love when you were growing up so that's that's why i get into pops and that's why i get them so i so the value of them and how much they cost and this that and the third i don't really give a fuck honestly i like i don't care um if i've got more of an emotional attachment to this pop compared to this pop, I'm gonna go with the pop I have the more emotional attachment to. So, as much as I love that Qui-Gon Jinn, and thanks again for the trade, uh, Josh and Laura Funko Pops, appreciate that, brother. Um, Cause if not for you, I, I never get this. So, um, so, appreciate him, shout out to him. Um, yeah, shout out to A. Rogers 27, man. Cause he came through and I was like, you know what? And it took me a little bit to deliberate. Like, I called, I called the heel hunter, my advisor, you know, Joseph. I called Sarge, talked to him. You know what I mean? I called a couple other friends. And I'm like, ah, what should I do? What should I do? And everybody's like, honestly, it was, it was a consensus. It was like, both of them are pops. You're not gonna be able to find anywhere. Um. So honestly, it comes down to which one do you value more? right and then there's that keyword you which one do you value more and i valued the game of thrones pop more so i parted ways with my qui-gon and traded him to another fellow hunter a rogers 27 who would value the qui-gon even more so i parted ways with qui-gon but boy boy was it worth it because i got hodor man <laughs> I got a fucking Hodor. Are you kidding me? Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on. Oh, man. Hodor was... So I was talking to Sarge because both of us are huge Game of Thrones fans. And he was telling me, like, yeah, there was a point where Hodor was everywhere. And then... I, forgot, I don't know if it was season five... I believe it was season five, either season five or season six. He 
he ends up, spoiler alert, for Game of Thrones. Uh, even though I don't care about spoilers, but I know some of you guys might, so. But anyway, spoiler alert, so give me like five seconds. Um, so season four, season five, or whenever it happens, uh, Hodor ends up dying, right? And you and you discover how he got his name, Hodor, right? I forgot what his real name was. Yeah, I forgot what his real name was. But you end up discovering how he gets his how he gets his name, and how he dies, and it's one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. So he was so the sergeant was telling me once that once that happened, you couldn't find Hodor anywhere. Period. Like you just could not find it. And so I was like, damn. So as my journey to collect all of the Game of Thrones pops, it's like, dude, that's going to be a tough one to get. That was another one I thought, just like the Scar, I may have to end up getting, you know, or paying flipper prices for. And that would fucking suck. Because we can't, we cannot let the flippers win, guys. You hear me? You, let me get closer. We cannot let the flippers win. Do not let the flippers win. But anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying. So... Again, A. Rogers 27, man, when he came through and he was like, I haven't showed this to anyone else. I got a Hodor. You're interested. You gotta be willing to give up that Qui-Gon for him. Ultimately, it was an easy choice because I valued I valued Hodor more than I valued the Qui-Gon. And and he valued the Qui-Gon more than he valued the Hodor. So that's I mean, that's it. That's all it came down to. And it was why oh, was it worth it? Boy, was it worth it, man. <sighs> Look at that guy. Look at that guy. I Man, I thought it would be forever until I got him. I thought it would be forever until I found him. <sighs> Hodor. 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 Oh, that was such a sad scene, yo. Man, he looked... I mean, and he's a simple character. But again, you gotta watch the show. You'd have to... You know what I mean? Love the character. Again, I get into these pop figures for what I value. And I I grew an emotional attachment to Hodor and all of the Game of Thrones pops. And I I I didn't even, I really didn't even have a choice but to pull the trigger on this one. So Yeah man. This was must have. Definitely must have. Cannot wait for season seven to start. Cannot wait. All right, so that uh, took a little longer than I wanted to, but I had to add some add some feelings I had to express when it came to those two grails that I just got. Those are very much two grails for me, and the grails have been coming along really because, and uh, in my previous video, uh, probably the video before this one, if you if you watched it, I got two more grails uh, from Sarge and Sarge is in New York, and he found two found those two LeBron James pops for me. So that's a very, 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 very big one. Another big grail for me. So my grail list is being, it's like, check, check, check. You know, I'm, I'm checking it off slowly. So super excited for that. But uh, but yeah, so we're gonna head into Hallmark. Okay, so I still have this Tinkerbell here. That's where I got it for uh, my boy Cam the Collector. Shouts out to him. And the Iron Man is still here. So. Gonna decide. They got the lights are like flickering on and off in here. And then, uh, yeah, man. Deciding if I want this Batman or not. Yeah, it's in 9 Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. And the Superman, I'm not too really interested in the Superman. And they got these things, but I don't, I don't know what they are. Some type of cars or something. But uh, they got the Superman there, the Spider Man. That's, that's a bad Spider Man. <laughs> it was the earlier, earlier on one, so I can't blame too much for that. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely thinking. I'm, yeah, I think it's gonna be this Iron Man. And then we got Nemo. Invader, Leia, Max, Dory, Hank, they got a couple of the Power Rangers here. Let's see Finn, Phasma, and some Ursos, and another Dory. And they got a Nemo up there too, so. So yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think I'll hold off on this Batman. I think I'll definitely hold off on that, and, uh, 
I don't know, the Iron Man's just calling me. I've been talking about it long enough. I may as well pull the trigger, so definitely gonna pull the trigger on this one. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys listen to the uh, Joe Bug Joe Button podcast. Uh, it's a great podcast. Listen to it. If you're into hip hop, you know, yeah, listen. It's a really good listen. Uh, so. There we go. Proper spin. Wind grabbed the Iron Man. Uh, it just spoke to me a little more than the uh, Batman one. I, you saw I was like in there deliberating, trying to figure out which one to get. But uh, now nah, it, it just spoke to me more, man. I like the uh, I like the classic look of it. Obviously, it's a classic Iron Man suit. Um, you know, I was um, not the gray one, the silver one or whatever. But uh, but classic Iron Man nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I know, something about red and yellow that just pops to me. Pops. Pun intended. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, it's a really, uh, oh yeah, fresh Funko. I always love the smell of fresh Funko. It's a really simple pop, really not much to really go about. The line detail is pretty good. You know, it's a bobblehead because it's marble. So, the arc reactor in the chest, you know, the red and yellow in the suit. They could probably use this and do the um, the yellow suit Daredevil too, if that's, if it's not already a pop. I'm, I'm not sure if it's one or not, but uh, but yeah, I just really like this old pop. Wouldn't mind um, with the Tony Stark that I have from the Spider-Man Homecoming wave, and kind of having it like as he like he just stepped out of this suit and kind of you know I don't. I'm always thinking of like thumbnail ideas <laughs> as I'm getting pops now, thinking of thumbnails for my videos. So, but yeah, so I really like this one. Super glad I got it. Um, yeah, and five dollars off. It's nine ninety five, so it came out to like came out to like five something. So can't beat that. Can't beat that at all. So classic Iron Man. All right, so we got the uh, beautiful Wonder Woman here. Another one there, and a bunch of Namors. Let's see what else we got down here. Yeah, Valkyrie, Eric O'Grady, throwback Iron Man, oh the comic book version Iron Man, Spider-Woman, Valkyrie, Punishers, Punishers, Namor, Daredevil, Daredevil, yeah, nothing good, Pops wise, yeah, no juggernauts, new maces, nothing, not a thing. Uh, I think I to usually have more here, right? Yeah. Enchantress. Brother Voodoo. Namor. Rogue. Some more Punishers back there. Tons. Jesus Christ. Look at all those Punishers. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nothing. I was hoping to see, I don't know, maybe the su Superior Spider-Man came in. Um, obviously not. <laughs> I'm expecting Superior to come in when Juggernaut hasn't showed up and Mace hasn't showed up and you know so <laughs> they didn't even have um, Fantastic Four's uh, Invisible Woman's there so how dare I expect Walgreens to come up with their merchandise how dare I <laughs> um, but yeah I think that's going to be it for the hunt uh, yeah that's going to be it because I got to go home and I got to walk Zoe and then after I walk Zoe then let's see yeah the final start at nine so this could be the last game so I'm definitely gonna watch it obviously uh, I'm probably gonna head to Buffalo Wild Wings though I'll probably watch it there we'll see we'll see what happens um, I'm still going for my guy LeBron I know some of you guys are trying to come for me You're trying to come for my head I don't see it I ain't seeing it <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I've been defending LeBron for a really long time, so, you know, you guys can keep him, keep him coming, keep him coming. In fact, this has nothing to do with toy hunting, but, uh, let me know in the comments where you rank LeBron James all time, but I gotta go walk Zoe, and then I'm gonna head to Buffalo Wild Wings and watch the game, and watch the game, so, see you there.
so I didn't record while I was in Buffalo Wild Wings because uh, it was loud. <laughs> there are tons of people in there. So, uh, but it was a hell of a game, man. And uh, hey, that's one. That's one. <laughs> don't mean don't mean much yet, but it's one. So you know, King James doing his thing. Kyrie, woo! Hey, welcome to the finals, Tristan. Welcome to the finals, Jr. Hey, D. Will, welcome. That's one. The next day. What's going on, guys? It's another day. Another continued hunt. We're, um, I'm actually up here in West Palm Beach. I had to help my mom out a bit. Um, she had to get her brakes done, so I had to, uh, she wasn't going to have her car for a long period of time during the day, so I had to drive around, drive around to a few places, um, and then, uh, you know, run some errands. But, uh, I'm finished with that. I also got a second job, so I got to go to that today, too, which kind of, kind of sucks. But, uh, it's good because I need the money, but it, it you know, kind of sucks that I'd rather spend the rest of the day toy hunting but uh but hey you know that's life gotta work man gotta fund those gotta fund these figs but um but yeah so i'm here in west one beach at a walgreens right behind me i'm gonna hit there there's a target across the street i'm gonna hit there and then there's a walmart uh a little past the light past this target so i'll hit there as well and then there's a walgreens by my uh second job that i'm going to as well so we'll hit we'll hit those places up and then, um, and then that'll probably be it. That'll probably, uh, probably be it. But, um, but before we do that, I got another, got another box, uh, another package from another great trade, from another great toy hunter. Shout out to my guy, Art Miranda. Um, he's cool, he's doing his thing. Uh, check his channel out, Art, Art Miranda. Uh, he's, he's, he does toy hunts and everything as well. But yeah, but check our brand out. So I appreciate it. I made another trade because again, I have an abundance of black suited jokers <laughs> around my area. So, uh, you know, hey, I went and picked up another one for someone else and was able to get something pretty good back. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe uh, every time, man, every time. Oh, you guys are the fucking best. You guys are the fucking best. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, and that's it. And he put a he put a little extra something in there, and that's actually from his daughter, KK. So thank you, KK. I really appreciate it. Um, man, thanks, Art. Man, I appreciate it, brother. But uh, yeah, so we'll get to uh, we'll get to what the trade is for, and then um, which is oh man. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought I'd never see this. I thought I'd never see this coming. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Man, I told you, I've been making some good trades lately. I've been making some really, really good trades lately. Um, Art, Art was around his um, Walgreens, and they just had tons. And I mean tons of Mace Windows. You know, just as much as my... Um, just as much as my uh, Walgreens had tons of Jokers, so it was like, hey, you got a bunch of Jokers, I wanted a Joker, and I was like, hey, you got a bunch of Maze Windus, <laughs> let me get a Maze Windu. So we uh, so we made the exchange, man, and uh, finally, finally, <laughs> oh man, yeah, he looks awesome, man, he looks really, really cool. Again, I love that. I love that these Star Wars uh, pops comes with the come with these stands, man. It's it's really dope. Uh, love the purple lightsaber, obviously. Samuel Jackson doing his thing. But yeah, this is great. This is great, man. Okay, he's got the whole the whole robe on, the boots, the de little detailing in the belt. It did no point. And even the eyebrows are showing, even though he's like a regular, you know, like a black dude with a bald head, you know. You think it wouldn't put too much detail into it, but they even did with the uh, with the eyebrows. So that looks really, really cool. I like this pop a lot. Obviously, I've been wanting it forever, so of course I like it a lot. But uh, but yeah. So I guess now officially back to my first um, Star Wars pop now since I traded the uh, the Qui Gon Jinn for uh, for Hodor and uh, Scar. So which was uh, which was well worth it. So yeah, man. Yeah. 
appreciate this art. I needed this one, man. Appreciate this, brother. <laughs> um, Alright, and so he threw in a little extra something. Again, man, I thought it, I thought it was gonna be something like small. I didn't know what it was gonna be. Maybe like a keychain or something. He's like, it's coming from his daughter. So I'm like, all right. I mean, what could it be? You know, I, I, I'm a very good at managing my expectations in life. So it's like, you know, I didn't get too high, I didn't get too low of what I was what I was expecting. And then I, I never expect extra pops, <laughs> you know. And then they extra pops come, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but uh, but I greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you, KK. Thank you, uh, man. <laughs> Black Manta, Black Manta, man, and that, and this—that's the mark of 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 a, of of a watcher, man. Clearly, he's been watching my videos because every time I'm like, yeah, someday, some point, not now, but some point, and I'm looking at Black Manta the same way I was looking at the uh, the uh, the Firestorm from the Legend of uh, Tom Legends of Tomorrow, um, and I finally picked up that one. So, man, yeah, <laughs> I don't have to wait anymore for him. Now I got him. So let's uh. Pop open the black manta. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he looks badass. He looks badass. I love the cords coming through to the suit from the helmet. Woo! And then I don't even know what you call this weapon, but I don't want to get stabbed by it. <laughs> you know? Man, and, the, and this, I mean, classic look simple outfit but man the the head is what really sells this because the the way the mask is obviously it's not your normal or traditional pop head um so yeah man this but this looks really cool the eyes really pop the the, the red eyes the black background the silver the shape of it man this looks really dope this looks really dope fresh pops man fresh pops wow this is uh I appreciate this, man. I appreciate this so much. Oh, man. Yeah, I appreciate this so very much, man. Thank you, KK. Thank you. Art, man. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Hey, check out my guy's channel, man. He, he's he's doing his thing, bro. You know, um, I always encourage everybody, you know, some people ask for me for advice. And, um, I'm, again, I'm, I'm fairly new to all of this. So, it's not like I, I'm, I'm the most experienced. But I try and give off, you know, uh, uh, as much as I know and, and pass that knowledge on. The, the more toy hunters, the better. We can take over YouTube. Let's do it. You know what I mean? So I'm always encouraging people to go ahead and, like, just just do it. Just go. Just record. Put it out. Throw the videos out there. You know, the more and more you do it, repetition, the better and better you get. So, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's greatly appreciated, man. You know, uh, yeah. Wow. Thank you, KK. Thank you, Art. Art Miranda, guys. Check out his channel. Art Miranda, check them out. All right, so hey, I also want to give a quick shout out to Cameron Rides. That's his name on YouTube. So shout out to you, brother. I totally, it totally slipped my mind the other day. Uh, it was a quick little hunt. I threw that out there and I forgot. I told him I promised him a shout out. So I'm getting you now, brother. Appreciate you, Cameron Rides. Shout out to you, man. All right, so we got an AT-AT driver. Got a few of those back there. Some HBK. Yeah, Plo Koon, I don't really know how to say that name, but <laughs> Rayes, yeah, Spider Gwens, and yeah, nothing special back there either. I got some of these, but I already kind of looked through and they don't have the Pizza Planet car. I'm not looking for it, but I know other people are, so I figured I'd get it maybe if it was here, but it is not, so moving on. All right, so yeah, Captain America. Nothing good. Nothing good. Uh, pops wise. Wow. I haven't seen a Scarlet Spider in a while. So that's cool. HBK Spirit Yoda. That's G.I. Joe. But I got my Mace Windu thanks to Art. So thank you, Art, again. Thank you, KK. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Power Ranger Dorbs. I know, so I'm looking for uh, a 40th. I don't see any 40th. Yeah, not seeing any 40th, and I don't think they have any else, anything else down here. Mm, that is a negative. All right, so what we got? What we got for pops? 
Not much. <laughs> not, not much at all. Nothing good, really. Fuck, I was hoping to see some, uh, some Mugrats, though, because I've seen them at, uh, I've seen them at Targets before, but there we go. Got the Green Ranger and the Negan again, so let's see in that for the second time. Um, that's it. Do they have anything in the clearance over here? No. Got this Deadpool. That looks like it. That DeLorean looks really cool. Alright, so the Marvel Legends, Morbius. Yeah, some old wave. A lot of old wave stuff. Nothing, nothing new. Damn. And Spidey UK again. Oh. Drax, Starwood. Old, old wave. Not the new wave. And yeah, in West Palm Beach, they call it Collector's World. So, let's see if they got anything worth collecting here. Doesn't quite look like it. No, they got this Vader. I've seen that before. Not really interested in that though. Hmm. Righty, righty, Piper. Yellow Ranger. Yeah. I see for Star Wars. I mean, they at least have a stocked section, unlike <laughs> most. Unlike most, they got a CP, C3PO, uh, Krennic. more of the exclusives back here though and their 40th is just it's just, just Leia because of course of course it's just Leia who else would it be right, so we got some more guardians here but obviously not second wave right yeah no second wave still first wave and that older wave from back in the day and they got that one thing from homecoming but uh we had a ton of these Vaders though but again $12 I don't think so. Not for 40, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, every, every Target, man. This is like the most stocked pop I've ever seen in my life. All of these and no Rugrats. Really, Target? Really? Alright, so we got a, uh, got a Sunfire there, Beetle, Yondu. Star Lord, but not the new wave. Two Star Lords. And they do have a vulture, so that's something. But it looks like that may be the only thing they have left though. Cable, Shatterstar, nothing behind that. Trax, Fantastro. Yeah, there's more Star Lords. And all the first wave, none of the new wave. And got a couple two packs here too, so. Yeah, not much. Not much. And then their pops look. It pops look scarce too, so yeah, there's not anything here. Zorn, yeah, that's it. All right, so finally made it to the last stop. Got a bunch of John Stewart's, Just Marvel, Kevin Owens, yeah. Nothing. Uh, well, you're gonna stay right there. <laughs> Polaris. Yeah. War Machine, Valkyrie, Doctor Strange, White Tanker. Oh, they got this like whole old wave here. Oh, this is back there. Another White Tiger. Yeah. Uh, any 40s? No, no 40s either. I think that's it. Oh well. Alright guys, so uh Walgreens was a bust, it didn't have anything, and I gotta get to work. So that's gonna be the last stop. Um yeah, so I'll wrap this up. You know, thank you guys for all the support. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow, everything. All of it. I am Toy Hunter. See you on the hunt.